Hey, what up YouTube? How y'all doing? Hope you're doing a bit better than me, look at that. One positive corona test. Bugger, I've got the lurgy. Oh well, I'll have to stay home for a while. Anyway, today I just thought I would uh, talk about my love of aperture priority on any camera really. Uh, on the Rico, you've got your aperture priority, the AV. TV is shutter speed. AV is the TV is shutter speed, full manual program mode. That runs everything for you. And then you've got your custom modes here. Now, I personally love aperture priority because you don't have to worry too much about your camera, but it does give you the creative control for adjusting your, your depth of field, etc. Now, there was a question by one of the new subscribers the other day about um, how do you uh, decide your shutter speed when you're doing aperture priority. Well, that's pretty easy. Uh, if you go in the menu, you go in your auto uh, ISO settings, uh, or just go in your ISO settings. I have mine on auto, and what I do is I will run in aperture priority, and I will set a minimum shutter speed like that one. So 320, that will pretty much stop anyone just walking. Might not stop cars or freeze motion of cars in the street, but that will stop people walking. Uh, 6400 is my upper ISO limit, limit when I'm using my custom color profile. You can see one of the other videos about that, my Leica look, but that is my upper limit when I'm running in color. And then, of course, I've got my favorite settings around here for uh, for metering modes and snap focus, etc. But I'm running my custom one there, and that's my like a look. But anyway, that's how I like to run the camera. Now, the camera will do its best to uh, keep the ISO, uh, the ISO number low, and it will also keep do its best to keep the shutter speed to your minimum, but it won't always be able to do that. If you look at mine there, it's showing 120th, even though I've specifically said that I want it to be uh, 1 3 20th of a second. And it's just struggling to get enough light in to be able to do that. And you can see the ISO shot up as well to 6400. So it's maxing out on an F, uh, on F8. If I open it up a bit, go that way. You get it's getting closer, and then if I point the camera up to a, a decent light source, you'll see it's now reducing that ISO and keeping the shutter speed where it can. Now, you could go to manual mode. I did a video about that as well. If you check the uh, previous videos on the channel, uh, you could shoot manual mode in partial manual with your auto ISO, uh, and that will give you full control of both these shutters and the aperture but that means uh, that will give you two things that i think are negatives with uh with shooting a recall for one uh if you do full auto where you're running you, you've got a fixed uh iso setting you've got a fixed shutter speed and you've uh, got a fixed aperture then you're in control of all three points of the exposure triangle and uh, you might just miss a shot trying to get those uh, trying to get those settings right to give you a, a decent exposure. So that's not the fastest way to run things. Aperture priority mode with a minimum shutter speed and uh, a minimum shutter speed and uh, a max ISO setting out on the street in broad daylight. I really think that's the way to go. It's a it's a great way you can control your your depth of field better. Uh, you know, you can, that's what you're doing. You're running, you're controlling the aperture yourself and just concentrating on, uh, concentrating on, on focusing and framing. So I think, I really think that's a great way to do that. Now, the second negative with doing it like that, if you're running in full manual on the Rico, God knows these are flawed hero cameras. Uh, they're brilliant cameras, but they do have the um, three main bad points. One is the battery. Everybody knows that. That's not a problem, just get more batteries. Two, dust in the lens and sensor because this one goes in and out. 
and that will eventually suck some dust in. And uh, the last one is this wheel on the back. Now, if you run the camera in full manual mode, it moves the uh, exposure compensation to this wheel. And I know you guys like your exposure compensation, so you will be using this wheel a lot more. Right now, in aperture priority, I never use the wheel. Okay, it's just not necessary for me to use the wheel. I may use uh, focus mode, uh, sorry, macro focus mode like that, uh, you know, to change to macro. But uh, I never use the wheel for changing any settings, but you will have to do that if you run the camera in M for manual. This will become your exposure compensation and uh, it's known for being one of the weaker points on the camera and can get damaged okay now that is my little talk on why i like to run in aperture priority most of the time and you can see got the uh the rx1r that's on a as well you can do basically the same things with the rx1r and then you just run around changing your aperture on the lens here and shooting away uh, you can set your max ISO setting, but this one isn't nearly as advanced inside the camera as the, the GR3 or the 3X. It won't let me set a minimum shutter speed. So max aperture, yeah, minimum shutter speed, no. Same here with uh, my or my and my wife's, um, this is the A7 II. Uh, running this on aperture, aperture priority as well. And when I put manual glass on this camera, uh, I, run in, uh, I run that also in uh, aperture priority. For example, I've got a really old uh, uh, Canon FD 135 millimeter um, 2.5 lens. And it is just fantastic on this. And when I set the cam camera up to aperture priority, I'm just changing the aperture and focusing on the lens and the camera's doing the rest of the stuff for me. So it's, it's brilliant doing it like that. It gives you speed and creative control where full manual will just take the edge off the speed and uh, yeah, you might just miss a shot because you're doing it that way. But anyway, that was it. Uh, I haven't finished my roll of film that I've got in this one, the uh, Olympus SP. And I must admit, I'm a little disappointed. I've got about four more shots to go. If you look in the uh, the shot counter there, there's a roll of 36 in here. I put in Fuji Color C200, just uh, the cheapest color film I could find. Uh, the camera is great, it's built like a tank. Really, really nice. Uh, good looking camera, nice and retro, but it's only got three of the four shooting features that I wanted. And the one that's missing is the one I really, really wanted. And that of course is aperture priority. So after doing some more research, the camera I bought here can be run in full automatic mode. You see that, uh, that orange, uh, the red A there. If I turn that to there and then turn the black ring to there, we're in full automatic exposure and the camera will do everything. All I've got to do is take that off, focus through the rangefinder viewfinder and take, take an image. And it will take care of the shutter speed and the aperture. If I want to run in uh, shutter speed priority, I just take this one off A now, like that, and say I want to run at 250th. With that still on A there, the camera will uh, find the uh, the correct aperture and uh, shoot with that aperture accordingly. Uh, but it will fix the um, it will fix the uh, the shutter speed and of course, being a film camera, the ISO setting is fixed anyway. Uh, the third option is to run in full manual. So here you would look through the rangefinder viewfinder in here and that will give you an inf indication of what would be the best um, exposure setting for any given uh, setting. So let's say I put this on f5.6 there and the exposure setting reads back a number 
that says you want it on 10, then what you actually do now, I, if I want f5.6, I turn this dial until I find 10 in there, you see? And that means I have to shoot at 30th of a second f5.6 in the current lighting conditions and it will be properly exposed. And I just gotta focus with this ring at the back here. So, not the uh, not the perfect rangefinder camera I was hoping for. When the film comes out, I will of course uh, share the, some of the shots with you. I'm gonna go all in and get the most expensive uh, development um, process for it. I'm gonna have the negatives developed. I'm gonna get prints made. And I'm also going to check the box and order uh, digital scans as well. So I will be able to post some images and you'll be able to see what a uh, what a 51-year-old uh, Olympus 35 SP rangefinder camera can do with its 40mm uh, f1.7 lens. But anyway, that's it. That's bye for now. I'm going to go and eat some oranges and stuff and uh, bombard my body with vitamin C and fight this corona. Anyway, take care. Bye for now.